Welcome back. We are here uh, looking at the foreign exchange market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, November 23rd, uh, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We also have a service over at Patreon. You're welcome to join that. Uh, we have over, over 90 people already joining that service. So, Let's look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we rallied quite significantly uh, in the beginning of the trading session and then gave most of those uh, gains back. Um, it is not really clear whether or not we are going to test these very highs at this point. And this pullback here indicates that we most likely won't. And as you can see, we also hit the top of the Bollinger Band. So we may go further but I don't believe that we'll go further than this uh, previous highs here, higher. And the reason why I say that is because these indicators are turning around. We can see that the RSI is turning around, same as the, same as the stochastic, and uh, we only need the MACD and the CCI to turn around and then we'll head lower. So this is absolutely the highest this market will go. And at this point, we'll probably go and test the uh, 20 exponential moving average and uh, the bottom of this market will most likely be the 50 at 1305. So at this point, we will most likely head uh, south. If we rally, then this most likely we will be our top and we'll find major resistance here. So if you look at US dollar yen, we have rallied quite significantly and this was fairly expected. We are trading in a channel. Uh, we rallied only three weeks ago, all the way up towards the 100 moving average, and then broke down quite significantly. Um, at this point, I do believe that we'll go at least to the 50 moving average here at uh, 104, and probably all the way up to 105 before turning around. If you look at the technical indicators for this um, currency pair, they are starting to look very bull bullish at this point. But we are in the channel, and we have been in channel for. A very long time and as long as we are basically within this channel then it is fairly predictable where we'll go getting close to this top this top it's a sign that we'll um, we'll be able to sell get close to the bottom and it's a, a possibility to basically buy this so channels are fairly predictable uh, it has been a few times that we have hit the top of the channel otherwise the 50 moving average has been significant resistant and the bottom of this channel has been significant support. So at this point, I do believe that we'll go higher due to the fact that these indicators are showing that we are going to go higher. So Euro US dollar, we rallied quite significantly and then broke down. And we went all the way down to the 100 uh, moving average at 1180. So at this point, I think that we are most likely going to see this market go lower. We tested this very highs and we got rejected really badly and this is not the first time this happened has happened we can see all over here this has happened several times every when we met 1192 so technical indicators for euro us dollar are looking dreadful at this point and that could mean that we will break the 50 moving average and if that happens we'll go all the way down to the 150 around 1164 um, no interest in basically buying this. This is, uh, at the moment, most likely a sell. So, Aussie US dollar um, has been very, very tricky to to uh, trade in recent um, in recent weeks. Every time you think that it will break down, it rallies. Everything that you think it rallies, it break down. It breaks down. So, um, at this point, it most likely will break significantly down if we break the 20 exponential moving average it has acted as resistant for a quite a long time now and we need to break that in order to go lower we can confirm that this high we can lower this down to 0 0.7344 that that is a significant resistant area which we have tested several times back here here and um, also over here and we have not managed to break through that resistant area. And as long as that is the case, we'll mostly go further down. Technical indicators for Aussie US dollar are looking dreadful at this point. So 
it is most likely that we'll head towards the 50 moving average first. If that breaks, then the 150 is right underneath. The very lows of this market is 0 and 70 and 28. And uh, we, that is not expected to break that level, at least at this point. So US Canadian dollar, we're actually on zero, so nothing really has happened today. We started as we we ended as we started, and we are we are still here at the uh, 20 exponential moving average. It has acted as a resistant, and at this point, we are just trading flat. There's nothing much to say about this. Uh, if we rally up towards this level here at 1323, uh, then of course we can sell all the way down towards the 1294. But at this point, we are basically in the middle of this range and there's no point basically in entering this market at all at this point. Of course, a break below here will, uh, will be a major selling point for this currency pair. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, and do join us over Patreon. You will get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and you can also see us live trade on Patreon. So, good luck and thank you very much.